to our counseling video series. Today is pajama day. So I've got my pajamas on. Do you have your pajamas on? I bet you might. It's kind of nice to be able to stay in our pajamas all day. So I wondered if you were able to use your what is in my control hand since the last time we checked in. I still got mine right here because I use it to help remind myself that not everything is in my control. And when I feel stressed out or worried or fearful about something, I try to focus on what's inside my hand, like my thoughts, my feelings, my behaviors. And that helps me feel in control and change my attitude, have a little bit more of a positive outlook. So maybe you've checked in on your hand, maybe not, that's okay. We're being really patient with ourselves these days because we know that this can be really difficult. So I thought today we could talk about some daily reminders, things that we should check in on every single day when we're at home. I've got my list of things that I like to check in on and I wrote it out on a piece of paper and you are welcome to do the same things that I did or you could make up some ones that are different for yourself. When we're home like this and we're not at school, it's really important that we have some structure. And what that means is that we've got things that we make sure we do every single day. Just like at school, we make sure we do math every day, that we read every single day, that we have some kind of specials class, whether it's art or PE or music or media. It's really important that even though we're not at Mangum, we're still doing those things every day, even if it's just a tiny bit, and we're also setting our own structure for ourselves. The more routine you have and the more things that you do every single day, the easier it is to deal with all of this newness because we know there's a lot of new right now. So I thought I would show you the questions that I ask myself every single day to give myself some structure and some routine. So I've got them down on my clipboard right here. And I titled this daily questions, things to ask myself every day when I wake up in the morning. So I've got six and I wrote them down here and I put little boxes on the side of each one so that in my head I can check it off. And I could actually check it off on my piece of paper if I wanted to. So I'll get a little closer so that you can see what I wrote and I hope you can see it but I'm gonna read it out loud in case you can. So, my daily questions. The first one, question number one is, what am I grateful for today? That's how I like to start every morning. I like to wake up and think about something that I feel thankful for. And I know a lot of you guys do the same thing too. I might wake up and think to myself, I'm grateful that it's sunny today. Something small like that. Or it could be something bigger. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful to have a home. Whatever it is, and it can be different for you than it is for your friends or your family, think about at least one thing to start your day. So. That's why that's question number one for me. What am I grateful for today? Question number two, classic Miss Armour question. How do I feel today? So that has two parts. And in some of our lessons, we've talked about this. Feelings are emotions. And we know that, right? Like happy, sad, worried, frustrated, excited, silly. But what comes along with feelings are sensations. So a sensation is something that we feel in our body. It's a little different from an emotion. And I'll give you some examples. 
a sensation would be something like bubbly or heavy or light as a feather or butterflies in my stomach. Sensations usually have expressions that go along with them. So you might have heard someone say, um, I feel like my skin is crawling Ooh. or I feel like I have butterflies in my stomach. Those are sensations that describe what is happening in our body. So when I check in on how I'm feeling, I check in on my emotions. I feel calm. I feel focused. But I'm also going to check in on my sensations. Well, let's see. My heart's beating a little fast and my arms feel a little tingly. Hmm. Usually those sensations mean I'm a little worried about something. Let me think about that. What, do, what am I worried about right now? Oh, I see. I'm worried about getting all the things done that I need to do today. So I check in on how I'm feeling and on my piece of paper, I wrote sensations and emotions. I wanna check in on both. How am I feeling means what emotion am I having and what's happening in my body? What sensations are going on? Do I have a stomach ache? Does my head feel fuzzy? It's really important that we check in on those things too. And we don't have to do anything else but check in on it. We don't have to judge our feelings. We don't have to blame anybody for what's going on, whether it's ourselves or others. We just have to check in on it. Okay, if we've done step two, we've said what we're grateful for, we've checked in on our feelings, we can move to step three. How am I going to move my body today? I love this one. So it's really, really important that we try to move around a little bit every single day, whether that's playing outside, um, doing some yoga in your house, um, doing some stretches, going for a walk, whatever it may be, it's really important that we move our body. It helps improve our mood, helps make us feel happier and less worried and less stressed. So do it every single day. It is so, so, so important. My favorite ways are to do a workout in my house, go for a walk or a run outside where I'm not gonna bump into a lot of people, uh, or to do some stretches when I don't have time for those kinds of things. Okay, number three is related. How am I going for number four? Sorry. How am I going to get outside? So this one, if we can, we can't always go outside, but when we can, that is going to help improve your mood too. So that's something that's going to make you feel happy and positive. When it's rainy, that's out of our control, right? Remember our hand. The weather is outside of our hand, out of our control. But when it's sunny and nice and kind of warm, it is so, so good to get outside. So try as much as you can and try to do it as a family if possible. All right, we're down to number five. Number five is how can I help someone today? Did you know that one of the best ways to make ourselves feel better when we're feeling kind of glum or down is to help another person? It is so easy and so important. If you are not feeling so good, think of a tiny little way you could help somebody else. Is it helping someone in your family? Is it sending a message to a friend that you miss and just telling them that you're grateful for them? Is it cleaning up after yourself? Um, helping with dinner? There's so many things we can do to help another person. Get creative, think about something that would put a smile on someone else's face. Try to do at least one little thing every single day. That'll give you some routine and it'll make everyone around you feel so good. Last one, ask yourself, who am I checking in on or connecting with today? So even though we are not at school, it's still really important that we stay connected with other people. And it might just be having a phone call with someone in your family who you can't see. It might be connecting with a friend. 
or maybe checking in on someone in your house and seeing how they're doing. Staying connected is so important. So try to think of little ways that you can reach out to people and get that connection. All right, so that is my list of daily questions that I ask myself every single day. And at the bottom, look what I got. Repeat, because I'm gonna remember to do it every day. Even if I feel tired or a little down, going through my list like this is gonna help me feel a lot better and more purposeful and more in control. Because remember, like we talked about the other day, usually the things that are out of our control make us feel a little stressed. So we focus on what is in our control and every single one of these things on my list is in my control, in my hand. Okay, all Mangum Explorers, miss you. I hope you're doing okay. Reach out to me if you need me and I'll be back next week and we will have another counseling video. Um, maybe we'll do some stories, maybe we'll do some mindfulness ex exercises. Um, we'll see. But goodbye for now and I'll be back soon.